फर्मेंटेशन in the earlier classes we were uh, we were stick to the two types of fermentation that is lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation but there are many many other types of fermentation the basic the glycolysis and the production of the pyruvate is the same and after that the other chemical reactions are different and they are giving different products and those products are giving flavors to our food okay so in this video i will discuss the other types of fermentations that are uh, that are uh, that are used in the fermentation process okay so let's start with the video lecture uh, this is a schematic diagram of different types of fermentation uh, and in this video uh, and in this slide i will show you that uh, uh, just look here uh, the as i have mentioned in the previous video that uh, pyruvate this pyruvate is very much important for the for the fermentation without pyruvate the fermentation for uh, fermentation process cannot be proceeded okay so pyro uh, and in in this pyruvate can then uh, produce different type of other products can be converted into different type of other products so in the in the green color these are the fermentative products that are produced okay and and this the main the starting point of the fermentation and is the is the pyruvate okay so if there is glucose in the media or so uh, and if there is other type of uh, poly disaccharides then monosaccharides then polysaccharides so first they will be converted into glucose with the help of different chemical reaction and i have mentioned those chemical reaction in a video uh, uh, in a video that is really and the title of that video is that how a complex sugars are uh, metabolized so if you haven't watched that video first so watch that video uh, so uh, you should be more clear that how complex sugar are metabolized so if there are complex sugars in the media so first they will be converted into glucose and after that that glucose will be converted into pyruvate after that uh, uh, it rely on the type of bacteria that which type of fermentation they are able to conduct because these all are enzymatic chemical reaction so if a bacteria contain the enzymes of a specific pathway of fermentation so they uh, that product will be produced okay so if there is bacteria and it is uh, it contains the fermentation uh, and it, uh, it contains the enzyme that is uh, uh, that can, uh, that are linked to the lactic acid fermentation so what will happen lactic acid fermentation will be conducted in that bacteria okay so just look here number one number is the lactic acid fermentation as i have mentioned in the uh, previous video also so and uh, and this type of fermentation are told to us okay so lactic acid fermentation can be conducted by streptococcus lactobacillus and bacillus so these bacteria and these microorganism consist of those enzymes that are involved in the lactic acid fermentation so pyruvate can be converted into lactate and this lactate lactate is the uh, is the product that uh, give flavor to our uh, food okay and in in these acids can also react with the Uh, other nutrients of the food and can give other additional products and giving other type of flavors to the food okay and uh, the second one is just look here it can also uh, give rise to uh, alcoholic fermentation so this pyruvate can be converted into acetaldehyde with the release of co2 and it is converted into ethanol okay it is converted into ethanol okay so this is also the second product of uh, fermentation and it is con conducted by yeast and zymomonas uh, these uh, these are the microorganism that mostly conduct the alcoholic fermentation okay so these two are uh, mentioned in the previous classes and these are taught to us okay the third one is that uh, uh, propion uh, propionol isopropanol is a special type of fermentative product 
that is also produced uh, by the uh, by the fermentation okay so these are the chemical reaction this pyruvate can be converted into oxaloacetate malate fumarate succinate and at last it, at last it is converted into propionate isopropanol and this is the product that gives uh, flavors to our food okay it can also uh, take a different type of uh, pathway and this can convert it into uh, acetyl coa and after that it is converted into uh, acetone and a propionode isopropanol. So propionode isopropanol can be produced by two different pathways, okay? And these are uh, the propionic acid bacteria can produce, can perform this type of fermentation, okay? Now just look here, the, uh, the, uh, the fourth one is the, that pyruvate can be converted into acetolactate and after that it, can, it is converted into acetone acetoin and after that two three lutein diol so this is also a chemical it is produced and it is giving flavor to our food okay and the bacteria that are uh, that are conducted in this process is the enterobacter cerachia and bacillus okay these bacteria produce these uh, uh, these uh, this type of product okay the fifth one is the that uh, enteric bacteria, the E. coli, enterobacter, and Salmonella proteus, we can and this can convert the uh, the pyruvate to ethanol. Okay, it can convert the uh, sorry, it can convert the pyruvate uh, to ethanol and also to the uh, uh, sorry the ethanol. Okay, so ethanol can also be produced by this. Uh, process okay uh, first of all this pyruvate will be converted into formate and after that that for this format will con uh, will uh, 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 will uh, react with the acetaldehyde and after that ethanol will be produced and these are conducted by the enteric bacteria and the last one is the clostridium clostridia uh, is uh, con conduct a process in which the pyruvate is converted into acetate so mostly the acetic acid and the vinegar is produced by this type of fermentation okay and it is conducted by the clostridium bacteria this is just six six type of fermentative products okay there are many many other type of uh, fermentation on uh, the there is acetic acid fermentation uh, for uh, fumaric acid fermentation and different other type of fermentation but i was just showing you that it is not uh, only confined to the lactic acid fermentation ethanol and ethanol fermentation other type of fermentation can also be conducted and these products give flavors to our food again and again i am repeating this word that uh, the flavors that are uh, that are sensed by our tongue and these are basically these uh, these compounds that are giving flavor to this okay so uh, don't be confused in this and don't confine fermentation just to lactic acid fermentation ethanol fermentation and then the last point i want to tell you that just look here firm, uh, firm these uh, in fermentation as i have mentioned in the previous video Look here that uh, in the glycolysis reaction, NADH is produced, okay? NADH is produced and it cannot uh, further uh, enter the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain. So uh, this NAD, it should be converted to NAD just to uh, continue the glycolysis pathway, okay? Uh, I, I have mentioned in the previous video of this, but again, I'm telling you, that just look here, all the uh, all the chemical reaction that are taking place and producing different fermentative product, they cons they uh, consist of a single uh, similarity, specific similar uh, similarity, and this is that the NAD is used, okay, and it is converted back into the NAD, okay. In all the processes, just uh, if you uh, look here, so in all the process, this NAD, NAD, NAD is used and it is converted again into the NAD, okay? So and then this NAD is then used in the glycolysis pathway again, okay? So the main, re, uh, main concept is that NAD should be produced again. So just because to produce this NAD again, these type of chemical reaction take place and they produce such products that are very much useful to us, okay? So this was all about the uh, types of fermentation. There are many, many other type of fermentation, but uh, I'm not going to that. Uh, and the, I have just mentioned the uh, specific uh, uh, types. 
Now question come in mind that either the, it is possible to ferment protein. So uh, the answer is yes. There is also fermentation in protein. Uh, in protein, uh, I want to tell you that if there is no glucose in the media and there is protein, so it can be, uh, it can, uh, it can undergo fermentation because of uh, uh, in, uh, just to proceed fermentation, pyruvate is only necessary, okay? Uh, so pyruvate can only be produced by the glycolysis and it can also be produced by an, an, another pathway, okay? And this chemical reaction is known as stick land, uh, stick land reaction, okay? Why it is called stick land reaction? Because these, uh, it, uh, these, this chemical reaction uh, take place by with the help of two types or uh, two uh, uh, so, uh, two amino acid okay if there is only one amino acid so this uh, chemical reaction cannot be performed okay so the question is that either um, proteins can be amino acids can be uh, fermented so the answer will be yes if there is protein in the media so first the protein will be hydrolyzed and different amino acid will be produced and after that these amino acid will be converted into pyruvate and as we know that pyruvate is the main essential product uh, and a starting point of the fermentation so when a pyruvate is produced so then it can undergo different fermentative product so just look here this alanine is converted into pyruvate this alanine is converted into pyruvate and after that this pyruvate undergoes chemical reaction and it is converted into acetate okay and as you know that acetate is a fermentative product of the acetic acid okay uh, acetic acid uh, bacteria produce acetate to fermentation and this uh, the, this acetic acid is a major component of the vinegar okay so if there is uh, alanine and glycine so what will happen pyruvate will be produced and this NADH will be produced, okay? This NADH will be produced. And after that, the pyruvate is then converted into acetyl-CoA and, and another NADH is produced, okay? So as I have mentioned in the previous minutes of the video, that uh, this NADH should be converted to NAD, okay? This should be converted into NAD so that it could be used again, so, okay? So that is why this uh, the, this two amino acids are used. The first amino acid just produce NAD, but there is no certain compounds in, uh, that should accept the NAD. Okay, NADH. So an, another uh, uh, an, another uh, amino acid is there. It uh, it accepts the NADH and take away its electrons. Okay, and produce acetate. And this NAD. Okay. So this NAD can then be used uh, again in the process of the uh, fermentation. So here also acetate is produced and here also acetate is produced and also both are the fermentative product, okay? But it can only take place only with the help of the two amino acid, okay? Again, I'm telling you this alanine is converted into pyruvate and after that uh, pyruvate is convert, con converted into acetate to re to, uh, through different chemical reaction. And this NADH is then accepted by the glycine, okay? And this gly uh, and this, it is converted back into NAD and acetate is also produced. And this NAD can then also can again accepted by the alanine, okay? So uh, this was all, uh, and this can only, and this process are occurring simultaneously. So this is also the fermentative product and this is also the fermentative product, okay? And one thing, remember that it can occur uh, in all the amino acid, okay? It can other occur in all the amino acids. So if, uh, but just they should perform the chemical reaction in a couple. And this is uh, why the, these are uh, present in a couple because just to accept the NADH, okay? Because there should be a specific um, uh, specific component that should accept the NAD, uh, NADH, okay? So uh, at last, I want to tell you guys that proteins can also be fermented to, to this chemical reaction, stick land reaction, okay? And sugars are, sugars are also fermented, okay? And uh, so the, keep this uh, tips in your mind that uh, the types of fermentation and also proteins can be fermented, okay? 
So this was all about uh, uh, today's lecture. Uh, if you have any question in your mind, okay, so you can ask me in the comment box. I will answer you there, okay. And uh, uh, the, the, uh, if you haven't watched the part first of the video, so first watch that part, okay. So then you will be more clear about the fermentation, okay. Fermentation basically uh, uh, at industrial level, then it consists of uh, other different details but it, this is the basic of the fermentation. So hope you have understand it. If you have any questions, so you can ask me in the comment box, okay? And you have understand this video. So like this video, uh, share it with your friend and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related to science. Thank you very much. God bless you.